Uh, and so implementing an L&D program, you know, it's not going to automatically change these un the whatever the underlying culture of your organization is or the mindset of your people in the decision making and leadership roles. So, a really important step that people forget in the process of implementing their L&D program is taking the time to actually evaluate their organization's culture and its leadership. And they have to sort of determine what are those barriers that you're facing to be able to tackle and make sure that you're having a successful program. So I've going to, again, at the end of the deck, I've got this all listed, so you don't worry. But a couple of options for evaluating your organization are, you know, listening. Um, I think about like, what are your current and former employees saying about you, their bosses, anything going on in your organization? And some resources to consider are Glassdoor, um, social media platforms, of course, they talk about, you know, organizations on social media platforms. I've seen a lot on Fishbowl. Um, you can get feedback from your internal ERGs or other organization, other groups that you might have within your organization as well. You can even survey people um, getting direct feedback and you can hire a third party to do that, of course, if you don't want to do that internally. So you can reach out to organizations like Gallup or WorkHuman. They both offer options like that. And then there's this, you know, how do we end up opening leaders' mindsets to the change and continue to keep the minds open? And I think there are really two options that I have seen helpful in just understanding the mindsets of your leaders. You can, you can kind of tackle this in two ways. That's the way I would describe it. So you can evaluate um, your leaders and train them, or you can just jump right into the training. To be honest, you know, I think even though it sounds a little funny at this stage, we're actually saying we need to do some leadership development before we can be successful with an L and D program. Like I, I realize how <laughs> how that sounds, but remember that your L and D program is intended to be a long term solution that's helping your employees continually grow. And in turn, it's helping the company continually grow. And if jobs are continually changing, that means the leadership jobs are also changing. And the skills associated with that job, those jobs are continually changing the way we are training for those jobs. 